Good morning, folks. Let me quickly note that late tonight will be the best time to see the Lyrid meteor shower. Clear skies. We'll see a fireball every few minutes. We come first to Cyclone Jack. Uyen candidate number five came together quickly and may cease to be a concern just as fast. We do expect the cyclone to weaken today while already touching the coastline with its effect. Tasmania down south having a wetter day as well. North Atlantic low still won't budge, but a smaller one just southwest of Ireland is setting some precipitation in scattered regions. Probably no major warnings. In South America, we see another powerful low just east of Argentina and watch the convergence sucking in clockwise in the south and demanding the extended portions of the convergence crescendo atop the coastline where it wraps back. This is the precipitable water overlay. We're seeing sister systems powerful atop the North Pacific. At least the warm southern air is relieving their chill. The system will sit still, then break, so watch local forecasts here. In the US, very tough to see now, but a weak convergence in the central states tonight will swing east as the low crosses the country throughout the day. We'll have severe storm warnings flying as the sun begins to head for the horizon this evening. Coming to space weather, we took our second gamma burst in three days. Happened early this morning and came out of the Pegasus constellation. Now, let's review the CME impact from yesterday, calling on yesterday's second upload and confirming that the main impact yesterday was not the smaller shockwave as the experts predicted, but it was the burst from the M7 solar flare. The speed is where the experts messed up a bit. Nearly 800 kilometers per second is indicative of a two-day travel from the sun, not four, and this impact was about 50 hours after the flare in question. Simple math with the solar wind speed. The shock we had pointed out in the first upload yesterday was likely that smaller shock wave and indeed was only perceptible in the magnetics of the plasma. As of now, the geomagnetic disruption is waning, but we could have secondary storms as we pass through the wake of the CME. We also await the integration of all that energy into our planetary system. As for solar flaring, nada. The upticks seem to come and go as quickly as the sun diving comets that seem to precede them. The sunspots give us a clue, as the incoming spots have not developed at all. The mature active regions are turning towards the limb out of sight. Bit of good news, the polar radiation storm has ended. It was minor only, but we were on watch as Earth's magnetic connection has been tied to those bigger spots. Looking at the coronal hole power, it is still just moderate as it turns away. We're also looking ahead to the next ones coming in, positive polarity and only medium force still blocked behind the blue coronal fields. It was a fairly benign earth-facing disk the past day, a couple surface events but no major eruptions. Can't say the same for the backside of the sun, we'll see some of those backside blasts and shots of our star to close. Eyes open, no fear at 6.30am eastern time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.